the mistake will be to think that there'll be a different thing that you would do for LP little a and a different thing that you would do for LDL cholesterol and a little different thing for HDL cholesterol. That's the mistake. That's treating symptoms. That's treating a marker. We don't treat the markers. We treat why the marker are occurring in the first place. Why does any cardiovascular disease happen? A primary mechanism for why someone would have heart disease is inflammation. Now, inflammation is the end result of something. There's many, many different ways you can cause inflammation. So then we can go a step further, not just dampening inflammation, but also identify the root cause of inflammation. What will be some of these root causes of inflammation? Well, it can be environmental toxins. How does environmental toxins say metals? How does mercury and lead lead to higher risk for cardiovascular disease? Well, they can flow through your blood and get deposited in your blood vessel. And if they do, they create a lot of oxidative stress, which then result in tissue damage. And that tissue damage has to be cleared up by your immune system. The way your body clean that up is through inflammation.